if if they want to be notified anytime someone's comments. So most people leave that off. We can see the uh, messages, who's responding, yes or no. Here's another ID. So the ID in here actually means GID. So yeah. So scrolling down, we'll find another ID. I'll get to some good stuff here in a second. So right here, summary. Uh, no equals zero, you know, undecided or 10 users are undecided, total of 12 users. And it also tells us if the person is the host or not. So this person is naturally not the host. So looking at the, the verse of this would be the private invitation that I'll get in here in just a second here. So let's look at the private one, the bachelor party. So, you know, same information as before, but there is one difference. It doesn't contain the GIDs. It's not very private, though. I mean, because it's supposed to be pri a, a private message, we can get in there and now see the users. So you can imagine if I was out on Google and I found, like, um, I think I found some Democratic party that had a, uh, a, a party for anyone who paid them lots of money, and I actually was able to view their private invitation. I knew who was coming, if they clicked on the link, if they were, um, let's see, what else they had? Any messages? Because I could view the messages of the private. Um, they were like, "Oh, I'm not going. I'm going to be out of town." You know, it just it's really not private. So they need to fix this part for sure. But the only problem is, is that we don't have guest IDs. So you can see on this one, the guest list is is on. And when we scroll to the bottom, just like on the other one, it shows the summary as zeros, just because it is private but we can still see the email addresses. So I got tired of looking at that JSON script and just threw together some PHP that, you know, we could get details on an EID and we'll dump out the user information and since it already has the email addresses, I just went ahead and added a Facebook link. The awesome thing was that Facebook, I was looking at some like huge guest lists. Facebook actually saw me doing this constantly. They threw up a CAPTCHA so like it stopped working. So I had to, instead, because it was actually just showing the person's photo. If it had a, a valid email address for Facebook, it would, you know, it would just show up on the screen. But Facebook's like, what is this guy doing? And just threw up a caption now. Like, whoever runs their system over there, impressive. So, moving along, this is the uh, the bachelor party. So we're able to see the the guest list now, but we still don't have GIDs. But Evite did this great thing. What if we at, try to re-add a certain guest back to the uh, EID? So we're going to take the data of the event ID and the email address of Josh Napes. That's nobody. I just made that up. So it's not like a friend or anything. So you, you guys can use that too. You can see it's on Mailinator. So you can go in there and see what I've been doing. Um, so we're going to ask, ask Evite, hey, we need to re-add Josh Napes back to this invite. So in the PHP script, it looks at the email address and just tries to post it right back to Evite. Evite's nice enough to go like, oh, that person's already invited. Why are you trying to invite him? And by the way, here's their ID. <laughs> it's like, well, really? Is that how that works? So the PHP script grabs that ID, and since we already have the event ID up here, puts those two together, and we will actually log in as Josh Napes. So bam, just to prove that we're actually Josh Napes, you have to click yes. And when, the only way you can make a comment, supposedly, is that you have to click yes. So. 
We click yes, and we saw that we were Josh and Apes. So we're going to look at the uh, wedding now, just to show you the difference of the tool. Because right now, since we don't have um, the, the um, GIDs, we can't delete users. So this was a, part, a private party, but we can see the guests anyway. So now we load up the public party, and we can actually delete guests. We have this option. And they also have it set to notify is off if anyone makes a comment. So there's this chick, Jane Jobs, that I, I hate, who's not real. And I click delete guest. And Eva answers back, success. No security there. So this is me just searching for Jane again. And you can see that she's not on the screen anymore. She's gone. Poor her. So if she actually clicks on the, um, the link, she'll get a message that says you're not invited. But if she went to my talk, she could just change her uh, GID back to FB and then be able to see the event again. So there's no real way to like, actually remove someone. Because I've actually been invited to a party before and then uninvited. And I just like, like what? That was weird. And they just totally removed me. I don't know, maybe I did it to myself and I couldn't remember. But I was able to get back in and just re-add myself. So let's uh, <laughs> remove someone from the, uh, the party. So that actually worked. We just clicked remove from party. Evite, of course, answers back, success. I think that's their answer for everything. So this is what we actually did. We sent the, um, oh, sorry, my fault. We're actually going to look at the uh, messages of an uh, invite, find out what people are saying. So once again, this kind of looks familiar, just like the uh, guest, the uh, actual event information. We can see what this person has said, and we can see the topic ID. So keep the topic ID in the back of your mind, because we're going to pick on that next. But once again, there's another GID. They just like spew this information all over their page. Like if you didn't find it in one place, they'd put it in another. So do you think we could view a private message? Of course. So we're looking at the bachelor party, and one of the guys, Derek's like, it's on like Donkey Kong. So really, this is not private again. Absolutely like wide open. And we see the, his GID and the ID that stated it. So you, you can kind of guess where this can go. I mean, you, this, you just go round and round with their security, and you can just talk to anything. So this is what the uh, score looks like. We can see who's invited, public or private. We can remove guests, public or private. We can read messages, public or private. I'm tired of saying that. You can log in as a guest, and you can comment as any guest. Once we get the uh, Wi-Fi up, I will uh, demo some more of this stuff, and we'll cause some mass chaos. All right, moving on. We can send emails to guests. This is what we were talking about a little bit earlier. All you need is a message and the guest IDs that you want to send to. So back to the tool here. We've just loaded up an invite. And we'll just say party update. Go ahead and put a message in here. Yes, almost. It's a key party now. Please show up nude. 
for uh, extra fun. Okay. So we'll send this message to all the guests, minus the host. The host has no idea that this just happened. <laughs> but this is another fail. Okay, so, and this is very interesting. In order to send this message, I have to have an authenticated cookie. You'd think it'd have to be the host's authenticated cookie. You can use any authenticated cookie at all. Just doesn't matter where you get it. If you build a fake account, you borrow one, you can use that cookie to pass it along and you'll be able to send messages to the guests. I just thought that was just ironic. So back into the wedding here. Yes, it's going to be now. So right here, this is the uh, update that Jane and Jack sent out. You know, it actually shows like who it's coming from. So they're like, oh, well, Jane and Jack sent this. It's like the wedding is now a key party. OK, cool. I do want to show one thing here. When I was doing my research, I found this thing called CID. Does anyone know what that is? OK, me either. So if you notice, up in the uh, left-hand corner, it says display um, images below. Those images are already showing up. So Evite, with their bad security, was able to somehow show this image in my inbox without me actually clicking display image. So what they've done is they have some like trailing text that's just some hex. I think it's base64 is what they're coding it in. But the um, image is the source. Instead of being like www.google.com slash photo.jpg, they just do CID evite bar. And since the image is already in the email as encoded, it just pops up. So I don't know why spammers don't use this. It's a great trick. We'll try to use it against them a little bit later, hopefully, if I can get the Wi-Fi working. So as we can see, this is the message that we sent to all the guests, that it, the party is now a key party, and show up nude for extra fun. If we uh, click refresh, let's see here. What we're going to do now is log in to, as the uh, user, Betsy. Since we have her GID, we can just walk in. You know, There's no security. So we'll go ahead and click on her name. And we will click yes, that we're coming. And we'll also just remove that, just because she replied yes. So we can remove her comment of saying, like, yes, she's coming. And we'll begin to type a message as her. Because you, you could just imagine if you went, were invited to a wedding and this shit happened. I slept with the groom the other night. I mean, it just, it's endless trolling. Like if the bridemaids are like, oh my god, I don't think you're going to be able to fit in your wedding dress. <laughs> so we'll go back to the tool and hit uh, get to details, and we'll scroll down to the bottom here. So sure enough, she slept with the groom. So we can also delete messages. Here's the command to do it. Messaging slash event, event ID. Just put in the uh, EID. And bam. What do you think Evite's uh, message is? Look, deleted. Awesome. Yeah, it should be success, but it's actually deleted. So. Let's invite someone special to the party. God. <laughs> God actually doesn't have an, uh, a GID. I just told Facebook, false. And Facebook's like, sure, we'll post it. Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, Facebook, sorry, Evite. <laughs> Correct me if I say that, like throw a schmoo ball. I don't know why I always pick on that. But as you can see, we deleted Betsy's message.